As you will have seen in the video, what is epilepsy? A seizure is a brief and temporary malfunction of normal brain activity. The part of the brain where the malfunction occurs determines the seizure type. About 1 in 20 people will have a seizure at some stage in their life. Seizures can cause an intermittent disturbance of consciousness, behaviour, emotion, motor function, perception or sensation. The level of disturbance is dependent on the type of seizure. The International League Against Epilepsy classifies seizures into two main types, partial seizures and generalised seizures. Partial seizures are where the malfunction is located in a small section of the brain, the location of which determines how the person is affected. For example, if the malfunction occurs in the part of the brain that involves sensory perception, the person might experience a strange smell, taste or a visual disturbance. The person may be fully aware of the sensation. We call these simple partial seizures, but can do nothing to stop the sensation. It will continue until the seizure stops. There is a second type of partial seizure, which involves a disturbance or even an alteration of the person's level of consciousness. These are called complex partial seizures. With these seizures, the person will not know what is happening to them while they are in the seizure state and will have no knowledge of what occurred during the seizure. These again can vary according to where in the brain the malfunction occurs. The second seizure type, classified by the International League Against Epilepsy, are called generalised seizures. These involve a loss of consciousness during the seizure. There are five principal types. Firstly, absence seizures, formerly known as petit mal seizures. These involve a total loss of consciousness, typically for three to five seconds. This type is quite common in children and depending on the frequency. Some people can have thousands in one day, can affect a child's attendance in school. Secondly, tonic seizures. The person's muscles will stiffen for a few seconds and as the person is not conscious, they will have no sense of balance and will fall. Thirdly, myoclonic seizures. The person will experience a series of involuntary muscle jerks. These occur very often shortly after the person awakes from sleep. Next are atonic seizures. These involve a loss of muscle tone. The person will fall suddenly to the ground. Depending on where they fall, there may be some injury. Finally, tonic-clonic seizures. These seizures were formerly known as grand mal seizures. They occur in two phases. Firstly, the tonic phase, which involves a stiffening of the muscles. The person's breathing will stop and the person, if standing, will fall to the ground. In the second or clonic phase, the person's muscles will convulse or jerk. The breathing will return, but will be laboured and noisy. This type of seizure can last minutes and can be quite frightening to experience. People witnessing such a seizure very often feel helpless and unsure of what to do. It is important to remember that you cannot stop the seizure and that you should protect the person from danger. To find out what you can do, watch the first aid video and become seizure aware.